Welcome back to the Da Vinci Experience and now we're going to go do project challenge number two and we're still going to be using the digital trainer board and we're going to make up this little circuit which is shown on your project challenge sheet and it's quite simple to wire up just follow the instructions there and that's the physical circuit represented by this circuit diagram over here which is a NAND gate with an LED output like we had before we've got a plus 5 volts going into one input and that's a logic one so that means that whatever goes in on the other input is going to be following through upside down for the output but what do we have here? This is a variable resistor the variable resistor can be quite big can be quite small this one's quite a baby this one and you can take a close look at the one that should be stuck in your board. Down here. So let's look at the actual circuit itself. What we have is the IC and the variable resistor. Both are supplied with ground. That's the black wire there going to pin 7. And there's a black wire there going to one end of this little variable resistor. I'll explain that a bit more shortly and then we've got two red wires and this is a nice convention if you use red for plus five um, where possible then that means it's less confusing so there you are there's a red plus five volt wire going to pin 14 of the IC and a red plus five volt wire is going to the other end of the potentiometer so what's actually happening is you've got three wires coming to the end of the potentiometer and they're quite small but one side goes to ground other side goes to the plus 5 volts and there's a middle wire which goes to a sliding contact and when we adjust it with a screwdriver we can then change whether the middle wire is nearer to the plus 5 volts or nearer to the ground anyway you can see how that works now let's carry on putting our circuit together so what we do is we put one input of our gate so we'll have pin 1 there to plus 5 volts so let's just put that to the plus 5 volt supply and then we've got the other input to the gate we'll go pin 2 and that's going to be going to the middle pin of the potentiometer and finally we're going to connect the output of the gate to an LED what color would you like? OK let's have red there it is so we just put the red LED on there now what we have is a definite plus 5 volts going into pin 1. We've got a rather uncertain voltage going in on pin 2. And we don't know what it is, it depends on how we do the screwdriver. What is the gate going to do? Let's see. Well, we switch on. And we see that the LED is on. Now, if you go anti-clockwise fully, LED is on. We go clockwise, and as you can probably imagine, the LED sometimes turns off, it goes off. Go back anti-clockwise, on, clockwise, off. So if you just push right to one end, yes, you're putting in a logic high, and you go the other end, the logic high, uh, logic low, sorry about the other end, you're going to a logic high. So, it's just like we learned last week, what we have is, a high and a high 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 gives you a low output if you have a high and now we make a low we get a high output now can we just make it somewhere in between let's just see if we can do it we go up 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 and we're going to try and make it flicker or something or go flash or whatever no, it just turns off. Okay, let's make it turn back on again. 
it's not turning back on now. I'm going back the other way, it's not turning back on. Until I turn quite a long way, then it's back on again. Okay, it's only just turned on, I haven't moved the screwdriver. Let's go back clockwise, let's just turn it off again. It doesn't turn off. Oh, now it does. I've got to really move that screwdriver around quite a long way before it changes. This effect is called hysteresis, and you probably know it as something called backlash. So that is the main thing about this special gate that has a special symbol. It's got this funny little symbol in the middle, which is actually a hysteresis loop. You sometimes see it with magnetic theory. This is showing you is a digital backlash circuit. And what it's basically doing, just imagine you have a machine like this. You want to move one way, you go up and then move. If you want to move the other way, you've got to use up the backlash and then you move the other way. And if you want to go the other way, that's exactly what this Schmidt trigger gate does. In other words, if you want to change how it sees an input, you've got to really change it. You can't just slightly change it.